In this video, we want to talk a little bit about why it's so important to really take advantage of this opportunity to stop following order. Because what we want to avoid is getting stuck in the common trap of the average military retiree who's going through the military transition assistance program, checking all the boxes, learning how to network, do the resumes, get on LinkedIn, even getting job interviews and landing a decently paid job and still not knowing if they did things right and just wondering, okay, I went through a process. It got me a result. Is the right result? How do I even know? And then, of course, on the medical side of things, you got VA disability. These are things that just add a negative connotation to it. It's almost like they're trying to ensure you're more sick on paper to get a higher paycheck. What if that might actually backfire because other things you couldn't qualify for? And then lastly, what is this all about? It's about your time and money, some sort of investment or financial insurance strategy, you're spending your time to earn an income, uh, you're using your talents to build up your assets for some sort of future. And what you've been told up until now is that everything was based on a very long time frame, 30 plus years from now, and have these big goals that are honestly vague and the world's changed quickly and a lot of the things you thought were going to be benefits when you retired out of the military aren't quite as valuable as they might have been, or again, might not actually be working in your favor. Rather than just cautiously going through the process and assuming that benefit is there because it's supposed to benefit you, rather than knowing, hey, what are the decisions I need to know? What is the information or the knowledge I need to have to competently make this decision? and decide, is there something better than the benefits out there? So that's the opportunity for you right now. Let's draw this out and take a look at some of the decision points you're going to have to make when it comes to the process. So regardless of where you're at, obviously there is a main date. It's your retirement date. So that is, or also know that as ETS, right? You are at either some point before that date or some point after that date until whatever the last date is. So the main key dates around your military retirement are first, if you any, do any sort of terminal leave, and then there's the three-year window where you can opt out of, that's the final SBP opt-out. Regardless of when you start on this timeline, you start having to make a lot of decisions quick. You start going to the retirement briefings, you go through medical out processing, VA disability, you're talking to all sorts of friends, you're networking, you're learning resumes. And for each one of those things, it's just more people, more resources, more ideas, more things that are going to help you make your decision. And at some point you end up over here and maybe you've got a nice job, which is really a paycheck. But unfortunately, it also probably means another boss, which Again, nothing wrong with having a boss, but you're still wondering how long is this going to keep going on? What is the ultimate plan and where do you fit into it? As we talked about in the other videos, what this is all about is weighing your new identity with choices. So if we can speed up that time frame, increase the odds of you finding that, that identity that better aligns up with that source of income, then we, we think we're, we're increasing the odds of you having a successful post-military life. And for our main goal, having you be a more resourceful and impactful member of society because our country needs it right now. We don't need all of our 06s just stuck at Booz Allen. We look forward to helping you do that. If you haven't done so already, schedule a discovery call with me or one of my colleagues, and we will get you started on the path to a more independent post-military life. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching this video. If you'd like to see more lessons such as this and a number of articles on topics around survivor benefit plan, thrift savings plan, I'd like to invite you to our new military retirement blueprint. You can get access in the link below and we'll see you inside the new portal.